I hope you had a wonderful week. What did you get up to, Brindina? Not much. Well, that sums up most of our week because we live together. Today, we are going to switch it up a little bit. We're going to start with praise and worship. Cue the music! <laughs> Reaching beyond the skies, running deep, stretching wide. Perfect love realized here with you. Come on now. Now the stuff is for real, you will never let go, never let go. Oh, it's more than just words, love beyond my control, out of control.
down for our lesson we're studying the life of Jesus did you know that the wise men visited Jesus while he was two years old was he not just born in the stable nope and did you know that he also lived in Egypt yes but he grew up in Galilee in a small town called Nazareth he did and today's story is about Jesus when he was 12 today's scripture is going to be from Luke chapter 2 verse 40 to 52 Luke is the third book in the New Testament. Do you remember the New Testament song? Matthew, Mark, Luke and John? Right, let's begin. Joseph and Mary went to Jerusalem every year to celebrate the Passover. The Passover started when the Lord asked the Israelites to put lamb's blood on the top and sides of their door frames of their houses. The Lord passed over their houses and the firstborn did not die. The Lord asked the Israelites to celebrate this every year. You can read this in the book of Exodus chapter 12, verse 1 to 14. Don't worry, if you can't read, you can get your parents and carers to help you read the scripture. When Jesus was 12 years old, the family made the yearly trip from Nazareth to Jerusalem to celebrate the Passover. They traveled with a group of people. There were lots of people that also went to Jerusalem to worship. Joseph, Mary and Jesus worshipped at the temple. The temple is a large building where Jews worshipped God. The temple is like a large church building. When Joseph and Mary had completed their worship at the temple, they left with a large group of people. Jesus stayed behind. When they couldn't find Jesus anywhere, they decided to go back to Jerusalem to find him. Imagine how they must have felt. They must have been really scared worried and frightened. Mary and Joseph started looking for Jesus a day after traveling. They asked relatives and friends if they had seen Jesus. Finally, after one, two, three whole days of searching, they found Jesus in the temple. When Mary and Joseph found Jesus, Mary asked him why he had done this. Jesus answered saying, why were you searching for me? Don't you know I had to be in my father's house? Here are some notes for your notebook. Okay, are we ready? Note number one, Jesus grew up as a child, so he understands what it's like to be a child. Note number two, Jesus asked questions and he listened. It's good to ask questions and to listen. I'll give you a moment. Note number three, Jesus obeyed his parents. I must obey the adults who take care of me because they do love me. Okay. Note number four, Jesus studied the scriptures. I must read my Bible. Okay, that is all the notes for today. Quiz time. Do your best to answer the following questions. The first question is a true or false one. Here we go. Jesus knows what it's like to be a child. Now, is that true or false? If you said true, then you're right. Question number two. How many days did Mary and Joseph search for Jesus? 
If you said three, then you're right. Question number three, where did they find Jesus? And if you said in the temple, you're right. Question number four, what is a temple? And the answer is a large building where the Jews worshipped God or it was like a big church building. Question number five. Unscramble this word and the letters are S-U-S-J-E. Write them down quickly. The clue is he is the saviour. Put the letters together. If you wrote Jesus, then you're right. How did Jesus' parents feel when they couldn't find Jesus? And if you said scared or worried, then you're right. That completes our quiz. Well done. Jesus knew God as his father. Would you like to know God as your father? If you do, Maureen will lead you into prayer and then you become part of the family of God. Dear God, Dear God, Thank you for sending Jesus. Thank you for sending Jesus. I believe he died to save me. I believe he died to save me. I believe he rose again. I believe he rose again. I now ask Jesus, to come into my heart. I now ask Jesus to come into my heart. As my Lord and Saviour. As my Lord and Saviour. Thank you God for saving me. Thank you God for saving me. And for making me your child. And for making me your child. In Jesus name we pray. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Amen. If you said that prayer, you are part of the family of God. Congratulations. Woo -woo. Now go right ahead and tell somebody about this wonderful decision you have made. And don't forget to read your Bible and do what it says. Now we're going to recap last week's memory verse. And then after that, Brandina will be right back with today's memory verse. Luke 2 verse 30. My eyes have seen your salvation. Very well remembered, guys. All right, the memory verse for this week is Ephesians 6, verses 1, which says, Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. This time we're going to do it quietly. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Okay, this time, any accent that you want. <clears throat> Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. That was my really bad Italian accent. <laughs> Maybe you did better than me. To summarize today's video, we're going to watch a video by Saddleback Kids. Every year, Jesus' parents travel to Jerusalem for a festival. When Jesus was 12, come on, they went just like every other year. But when the festival was over and Mary and Joseph were traveling back home, Jesus? Jesus? Do you know? Nope. Uh oh. They realized that Jesus was not with them. Uh oh. Come on. So they returned to Jerusalem to look for him. This fellow, his name is Jesus. I haven't seen him. They searched everywhere. Jesus! Not Jesus. Jesus! Jesus! After three days, they found him in the temple. Jesus was sitting among the religious teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. Jesus! Hey, Mom. When Mary and Joseph found him, they said, Why have you done this? We've been searching for you everywhere. But Jesus said, why did you look for me? Didn't you know I would be here in my father's house? Huh? But his parents didn't understand what he meant. 
So Jesus left with them. See you later. Bye, Jesus. And came back to Nazareth, where he obeyed them. Hey. Here you go. And he continued to grow in wisdom and favor with God and man. Next week's lesson will be about John the Baptist. Did you know that he was Jesus' cousin? He was a very cool cousin. He certainly was. You'll find out next week when you tune in. Please don't forget to do that. But before you go, we're going to pray every eye closed, every mouth too. Father, thank you so much for your word. Thank you so much for being faithful. Thank you for sending Jesus to die for us so that we can be family. So this week, Lord, we pray that you guide our steps. You be with us every step of the way until we meet again on Sunday. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. 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 See you next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.